LD and Donna, welcome. Brittany, hello. Mary and Kitty, hi. Thanks for being here. Love more, welcome. Heather on coffee, hi. How are you? Hello, Mary. Hola, Porch. Thanks for being here. Hello again. Donna, hello. Jungle House Love. Tiff, hello. Heather, hi. Everybody who's new here, please click the fall button. Double tap the screen while I wait for people to get in here. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate the double taps. I appreciate y'all for hanging out. Liz B. Welcome. What's going on? So this is the love ship. This is TikTok's number one dating TikToker. Super Ken for Super Ken TikTok. And the most entertaining nighttime live on all of TikTok. Liv, that's what's going on. How are you? Liddy McKeo. Lynette, thanks for the likes. Demi Lovato or Selena Gomez? Selena Gomez. Of course, Jordan. Demi Lovato's got some hits, though. But pound for pound, Selena Gomez. Laha91. Hello. I don't understand what you're saying. I'm going to learn English. Oh, you're here to learn English. You're in the right place to learn English. I'm the goodest English speaker on all TikTok, too. It's lit here. It is lit here. How are you, Tiff? Lahan, what's up? Thanks for being here. John, New York, hello. Yanalish and Ronald, welcome. Melarissa, Melor Melissa, hi. You're okay? Why are you, why are you just okay? Thanks for going live. You're welcome. You're welcome, Lahan. Drop some corgis for you, boy. Let's get 10 corgis shaking their ass before I go to bed. Rashida, hello. Jules, welcome. I'm doing great, Elise. Thanks for asking. I love you so much, huh? Hi. Hello, Bailey. Deanne, hi. How's your Thursday been, everybody? What'd y'all do today? Michelle, hello. Bonita. What is my purpose? Um, I'm just helping y'all be healthy in relationships. Lahan, thank you so much for making that Corey Shakin's ass. You're the best. My day so far, good. Good day. Hello, Melissa. How was your day? You're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Porch. Me25, hello. Carlos, I'm great. How are you doing? Hello, Sarah. I'm awesome. Dorothy, welcome. Lisa, the energetic person. Hello. I'm from Ohio, Carlos. Where are you from? Smitty21, hi. And Pitts, hello. How old am I? 31. Hello, Reginald. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking, Lisa. Michigan. Apple user, hello. Reginald, how are you feeling? Are you feeling any better? How's your mom doing, more importantly? Hello, Reginald's mom. Just got out of the shower. Well, I'm glad you're all clean. Jessica, hello. East C B B, hi. Carlos, thank you for the follow. Everybody clicking that follow button? Everybody who dropped in Corgis? 1,000 years of good luck for you. You're the best. Especially if you click the star and become a love ranger. Extra good luck. My doctor gave me a bunch of stuff, so I'm feeling <laughs> good. Good, Reginald. I'm glad you're feeling good. Queen BB. Hi. Sweetie0011. Everybody who clicks the star and become a love ranger, they're going to find true love this year. Everybody who doesn't click the star and become a love ranger, you have to wait at least two more years for your true love. Sorry. Those are the rules. <laughs> It's only one lunchable month, and you'll get love next to your name, just like Tiff, and just like Sarah, and just like Reginald. And you'll get to use cute emotes, because it's cute, and brunch daddy, and I'll follow you back. And you get a love ranger color live in front of everybody. How are you? How's your health, your family, etc.? Everything is good. How are things with you, Jessica? I'm doing great, Melissa. You're <laughs> Lisa, you're broke. Lisa, 
Just get a fourth job so you can become a love ranger. It's only one lunchable month. If you have children, they can starve for just one, one meal. For one meal a day, your children can starve so that you can become a love ranger. Yes, God, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the roses. I love your lovely and cute eyes. Oh, these old things? Thank you. But the tea is that I got it for my aunt, and she's been at my grandma's house all week. Oh, no. Guess what? I experienced for the full moon. What did you experience on the full moon? You never had a job? Well, Lisa, get two jobs. And you can be a love ranger. So I hope my grandma doesn't get it because she's on intense chemo for cancer. I hope your grandma doesn't get it too. Reginald. Because I still have to become BFS with your grandma. Already right, mentally exhausted. A thunder snowstorm? It's thunder and lightning and snow? Live in life. I'm glad your life is good. Yes. But low key, at least it's not on me. <laughs> if she does, because it's my aunt who gave it to her, not me. Reginald, don't be putting that guilt on your aunt. Things happen, you know? People get sick. Things spread. It is what it is, and it's unfortunate. Hanny06, hi. I'm going to shift a little this way. So I don't have to keep cranking my neck. Life is tiring for you. And people would have blamed me. Oh. But no, they can they can blame my aunt. Reginald, nothing's ever your fault. How dare they? How dare, dare they even consider blaming you? Where am I? Um, I'm in Ohio. I'm in the love ship. Thanks for being here. Tiff, so thanks for the roses. Katie Joe 1991, hello. Five I mean, I'm not mad at my aunt for giving it to me. I know she <laughs> she didn't know, but still. Alex, hi. Alex Prater 21, hello. Arts to Anastasia, hello. I need zero, hello. Elise, thank you for the likes. I gotta go, but thought I'd pop in and say hi. Enjoy the rest of your night. Well, thank you, Melissa. Thanks for being here. Kimber, thanks for the follow. Kiana, hi. Sarah, hello. Love, Lisa74. Welcome. May Obe. My Obi. Oh. Hello, Obi. Hi from the Philippines. Love Lisa from the Philippines. Hello. How are you, Obi? From your from your mother. Well, hello from your mother. What you up to? I'm just chilling. In the galaxy in the galaxy log and in the love ship hanging out with y'all until midnight so thanks for being here hello you know eddie welcome good night handsome god bless you all thank you jessica thanks for being here enjoy your night you're so cute thank you hello jamie it's spicy in here it, it does get spicy in here it gets super spicy in here Taylor nine welcome Blinky five, hello. This is the time where the Philippines starts going to lunch. So the Philippines gonna be in here any minute. I'm waiting for you, Philippines. Your king, your king is here. My favorite snack. My f my favorite snack is 
depends. If we're talking candy snack, I love Twizzlers. And I know. I know a lot of people got beef with Twizzlers, but I love them. And I love Swedish Fish. And I don't care who knows. Swedish Fish and Twizzlers, top tier candy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Skittles. We're not talking about Skittles again. Um, not Twizzlers. I know. I know. Twizzlers are very a very polarizing topic, but I love Twizzlers. Um, as far as not Twizzlers, I love Cool Ranch Doritos. I also love the the ones that come in the purple bag. What are those? What are the purple bag Doritos? Because those masterpiece, so good. But nothing touches Cool Ranch. Rainbow Twizzlers are awesome. No, the only Twizzlers I like are the OG. Or the peeling, the cherry that you can peel. The peel Twizzlers and the OG, those are the only ones. Any other Twizzlers, get the fuck out of here. No, candle wax. Straight up candle wax. <laughs> I always forgot how much I hate Twizzlers and then I try them and hate them all over again. I love Twizzlers so much. Hello, Lassie. Twizzlers are delicious. Um, but only the OGs and only the cherry peel. The cherry peel, number one. But when it comes to watching movies, OG. Or when it comes to Halloween time, like Halloween Twizzlers are even better. Am I single? I'm not single. I'm not single. Um, Halloween Twizzlers, better. You're talking about the sweet and spicy Doritos? Yeah, that's... that's not, Yeah, the sweet and spicy are so good. Like, they're my, fav they're my favorite flavor. But Cool Ranch is still number one. You know, it doesn't quite overthrow Cool, cool Ranch, but the, the spicy, the sweet and spicy. I'm also not single twins. Look at us. Um, it's delicious. I also like combos, but I can't do too many. Hello, Jill. Lizzie, welcome. Big Noah Energy, how are you? And then those are my snacks. Energy drinks? Rain is my, num my number one energy drink, but they won't sponsor me because I'm not an athlete. But they're so good. Rain is so good. The best flavor of rain... I really like the the watermelon watermelon warlord, which is like their their thermogenic, and I like I like the blue one. I love their carnival candy one, but they don't make it anymore. What's your problem? What's your problem, Rain? Bring it back. <laughs> I'm so good since I saw this snack. <laughs> Why do guys never approach me? I get that I'm intimidating a lot. Uh, Lizzie, I'm intimidating as in what? Like you're too hot? Like, do you feel like you're too hot or do you feel like you look like a bitch? <laughs> when people when people say somebody's intimidating, they either mean that person looks like a bitch or they're way too hot. Which do you think it is? Peel off Twizzlers are the sweet and spicy and cool ranch Doritos just kiss. Yes. I'm back. You are back. Noah's my friend in real life. Really? That's so awesome. An OG Red Bull. I've never had Red Bull before. I like Monster. I have. Had, I didn't try Monster until like two years ago. And Monster is basically just... Um, there's like a lash in my eye. Monster is basically the liquid form of Red Vines. I said what I said. Monster inferior. Sorry. Inferior to Twizzlers. Have you tried Alani? I have tried Alani. Alani's good. My friend says I look like too confused so people don't approach me. That you look confused? <laughs> what, what does that mean? I okay, don't look approachable. Men probably don't approach you because they <laughs> drool in low key. Lizzie, thanks for the follow. Lonnie is good, but I prefer Celsius. Um, Lonnie's really good. 
Too focused. Oh, I'm not confused. Too focused. <laughs> like, what are you focused on? I'm chronic crossing the face. Lord, he can't read. I'm all the way back here. Obi, give me... <laughs> Cut me some slack. Dr. Swanslo. Focus, not confused. <laughs> what are you focused on? Um, don't be focused on, on things. Don't be doing crossword puzzles. If you want guys to come up, up to you. You have a great voice, though. Thank you. Yeah, so rain, Rain's my number one energy drink. I love them so much. I love all their flavors. You're late again. You are late again. And also, Vaughn, you're a Love Ranger now. It's love and time. And I appreciate you so much for becoming a Love Ranger, Vaughn. You couldn't get it to work, but now, now look at you. Now look at you go. What do I do for fun? I hang out with all of you guys for fun. Lorraine, thank you so much for the follow. And I also play video games for fun. It's Quan. Welcome. Good night, Love Rangers and Ken, Ken and friends. Good night, Sarah. Thanks for being here. <laughs> I'm sorry that I hang out with you. User 20, hi. Lizzie, thanks for life. What if I broke up with my ex but regret it and we replaced me but tried cheating on her with me? <laughs> so you're in a you're in a predicament, user 20. Um if I broke up with an ex and she got with somebody because I broke up with her and she has to move on, you know, like what else is she gonna do? She moved on, whatever. And I'm like, I regret breaking up with you. And she's like, that's okay. I want to, I want you back anyway. I'll take her back. <laughs> Just, um, user 20, get your ex. Get your ex. They, they're clear, you're into them. They're still into you. They're willing to cheat on their current partner with you. And you regret letting them go. Just get them back. Just go get your wife. Go get your husband. Whatever they are. <laughs> Am I still an honorary love ranger? No, Vaughn. Now you're a real. You're a real love ranger now. Oh no! <laughs> Don't cheat on you too. It. But does it count as cheating? Here's the thing. He doesn't want to be. With, oh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he doesn't want to be with you. So it doesn't matter. But does that count as cheating though? You know. Does it count as cheating if you break up with somebody and they get with, they get with a rebound and they and you're like I messed up and they want to sleep with you? Are they is it really cheating? Like can can I be like they would cheat on me too because they cheated on them? No. We clearly are both just not over each other. That's all it is. I don't feel like that counts as oh they cheated on their person so they're going to cheat on me, you know? Like they were already mine. <laughs> and they just missed the juice you know it's like as you should you if i come back for you you should cheat on your partner with me you know <laughs> i don't feel like that counts i don't feel like i'd count them as a cheater if that was the case carry 1921 hello where are those lights from so movie things, these lights are in my Amazon store. Link tree in the bio. Go to my Amazon store. Everything I use to live stream or make videos is in my Amazon store. Dina K. Darling, hello. Macho man <laughs> broke up with his ex. <laughs> Consciousness, oh no. That's not, that's not fair to the other person. Fuck them, they're just a rebound. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Okay, so one makes this make this make sense. Guy matched with me, but never talked to me. I found him on TikTok. Not really. Yeah, it's it's like that's a gray area, you know. Like if I broke up with my partner and they got a rebound, and then I'm like, I want you back, and then they sleep with me. I feel like that doesn't count as as them being a. I wouldn't consider them a cheater, you know. I would consider we both realize we made a mistake and now we're back together. <laughs> I wouldn't be like, oh, once a cheater, always a cheater. Like, no. Nah. Hey, that's different. That's different. That's different than taking somebody's partner. You know, you're just getting your taking your ex back. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> Unless they've been together for like a really long time. If they've been together for like a couple years, that's different. That's but if it's like a month. 
after you guys broke up and you're like, I think we messed up. We should probably, let's get back together. I wouldn't consider them a cheater. He doesn't want to date me at all. Says I was toxic. He loves her now, but cheats on her with me. He'll know. I think he's toxic. So he just wants to sleep with you. He doesn't want to be with you. Yeah, that's a no. I've been the rebound. It's terrible. And turned out the dude was a horrible person too. My friend suggests I should date around to figure out what I want and what's my type. Any tips on dating around to see what you want? No. Make a list of what you want. Like, how do you not know what you want? Have you not dated a lot? You don't know what your triggers are? Like, in that, like if you've not really had any, any experience dating people, then yeah. See, see what your triggers are. Figure that out. And go from there. But if you dated, if you have some experience dating, you know what you want and what you don't want, Lizzie. Make a list. And then become that list. <laughs> he doesn't love her, so he's a liar. Yeah. Facts. He doesn't love her. He's in a relationship with her, so yeah, he's cheating. He che Star, thanks for the follow. It doesn't want to be with you, then seriously, pick yourself up and move on. Yeah, he doesn't want to be with you. I agree. <laughs> See, even he says, oh no. No, thanks for the follow. He never wanted to break up because, but I did, because we were toxic. Make a green flag list. Yeah, do it. Not much experience. Yeah, okay, so you don't have much experience. So yeah, date around. Do your thing. Do your thing, girl. But um, I would learn to set some boundaries. So Lizzie, since you don't have experience, as you're going into dating, when things make you feel uncomfortable, realize that this is a trigger. And now you need to deconstruct the trigger. Why does this make me feel uncomfortable? Am I uncomfortable within reason? You know, like feeling uncomfortable because my partner doesn't text me back in two seconds is not reasonable. Feeling uncomfortable because your partner is liking girls' pictures is within reason. You know, why are you validating girls who aren't your, aren't your girl? So things like that, Lizzie. Once you feel triggered, once you feel uncomfortable, you know, sit, sit with it. Like, do I, do I have good reason to feel uncomfortable about this? And then set boundaries around that. Communicate how uncomfortable you feel. And Lizzie, how you're going to know if you have a good guy or not is if you bring up how uncomfortable you feel, he's either going to be like, I'm sorry, um, I will stop doing that, or let's compromise around whatever. That's how you know you have a good guy. How you know you have a toxic asshole and you should leave if he's like, Lizzie, you're so insecure, you're so jealous. You're, you're crazy. You're crazy, Lizzie. Like that, if he tries to turn it on you, make you feel like a shitty person for feeling uncomfortable. Get out of there. Get out of there, Lizzie. I've dated a lot of men that I know exactly what I want and don't want. Same. But not men. <laughs> Women. <laughs> yeah, you just got you just gotta um you'll eventually know. You'll eventually know what you want, what you don't want. I always say it's better to know what you don't want. Facts. 100 percent Cilantro, major red flag. Yes. If they like cilantro, dump them immediately. Take them to a restaurant. Take them to a Mexican restaurant. Um, if there's cilantro on the tacos and they don't ask for them to take the cilantro out, get out of there. <laughs> exactly, my, my ex did that. I cannot. Thank you for the great advice. You're welcome. What gets a man attached? Emotional connection. It depends on the it depends on the person. So a healthy man is going to be attached by good communication. You know, if we if we can talk about things, if you're kind, you're loving. We can make plans, we can follow through with plans, we can make some foundation. That is going to make a healthy man fall in love with you. Being a good communicator, being respectful. An unhealthy an unhealthy man to get him attached to you, treat him like shit, you know. Go out, go out to clubs and stay out until 3 o'clock in the morning and make them deal with it. You know, you'll have an unhealthy man wrapped around your finger, but you don't want that kind of man. 
you want a man who's who respects you and you are respectful too and they appreciate your respect that's what you want you don't want somebody you can manipulate creamy ice cream green flag <laughs> why would you want him again if you are toxic together go heal sis facts Kim being brutal with the cilantro. I'm new here, but I don't even know how to date anymore. It's been a while just to meet. <laughs> Y'all almost fell. Well, thanks for being here. Glimpse of sunshine. Cilantro's delicious. The first red flag of the night. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Let's be friends. Hello. By the way, thank you, Ken. You rock. You're welcome. You're welcome, Martin. Marie, thanks for the follow. Oh no. They don't gotta respect me in bed though. That's fair. Thanks for the finger hearts. Lassie. If I keep knocking y'all over, I can't get any good guys. Um, Tiff, you're probably not attracted to good guys because you have a fearful one attachment style. Oh, we thanks for the follow. Hello, Silverlay. Spanish. Would I ever get a buzz cut? No. It sit you really well. Never. You have the best cut ever. That's awesome. What do guys like in terms of flirting? The same thing girls like. Um, I've noticed with, with flirting with girls, they like the same stuff that I do. So whatever you like, do, do with that. It's all the same. We all like we all like the same kind of flirting. Playfulness. Exactly. Just be playful. Be playful, cute. User zero high. You're so beautiful, thank you. Ken, I'm telling you, the perfect guy I can't get. I think I may I may have red flags. You do have red flags, Tef. That's why I'm telling you to go to therapy. <laughs> I love love same. I love love too. My man is awesome on TikTok. His name is Why Not Spinach. <laughs> Hello, Jenny. No jacket tonight? No, it's warming up. I don't have to wear jackets anymore. You'd rock a buzz cut. Should I get should I get rid of rid of my locks? <laughs> Therapy again. <laughs> At least a lot. Jenny, welcome. No, but that's the cool thing is uh, healthy people, you don't have to play games. Like you don't have to do any sort of weird manipu manipulation or seduction tactics. Like you can just be you. Just be a good person and they're gonna like you because they're healthy. You know, you only have to manipulate unhealthy people. So if you find yourself having to manipulate your partner to get them to be into you. Cut the cords. Get out of there. You know, they need they need to work on themselves. And if you really, like, if you're already too deep and you really love them, work on yourselves together. You know, have conversations about triggers in your relationship. Things that are unhealthy. Things that both of you need to work on. But if you ever find yourself being like, ooh, how do I make them love me more? How do I make them want to spend time with me? Like, that's, that's a red flag. Shane from Love is Blind. <laughs> um, thoughts on dating apps? I'm indifferent about them. I personally don't like using dating apps. I prefer to just slide into DMs. Um, I'm very fortunate where that's easy for me. <laughs> you know, being TikTok's boyfriend, my DMs are constantly full. But dating apps can work. My best friend, she met her husband on a dating app. But in general, I feel like dating apps have... If you're not careful, dating apps will give you the grass is greener syndrome. Where you're just not satisfied ever. It's like the Pokemon analogy that I always do of opening packs. You know, you're just never going to be happy with what you get. You know, even if you pull a Charizard. Because my, my thing is like you got a whole bunch of Blastoise. But this 9 out of 10 dude is not good enough for you because you think, 
one more swipe and I'm going to find my perfect husband. I'm going to find my 10 out of 10. One more swipe, one more swipe. You don't really have that on social media when you're sliding DMs. You know, you see a guy you think is cute. You like his story, whatever, signs his DMs. You start flirting and flirting leads to meeting up. In dating apps, it's just like one more swipe and there's going to be a better guy. There's going to be a better guy. Even when you pull that Charizard, you're like, mm, the centering isn't perfect though. I want a PSA 10 Charizard. This this one's not good enough. And you keep opening packs, trying to get that perfect center Charizard. You have to be careful with dating apps that you're not just matching with a bunch of people, having 20 dates lined up. I'm really big on focusing on one person at a time. So if you're going to do dating apps, maybe like a couple people and you get some matches, pick your favorite out of the matches. Don't look at any more people until you, until you see that, until you see the finish line with, with the guys you've already matched with to see where it goes and assume that the people you have are the best ones. <laughs> Otherwise you're just not, ne you're never going to find a partner. You're never going to meet up. You're never going to go on dates. You're never going to settle. It's just one, per one person at a time. Don't be juggling. Don't be juggling people. It was 90 yesterday and 60 today. <laughs> Same. Where do I even find a man besides dating sites? I live in a small town. Sign in the DMs, girl. Find, find them on the purple pink. I go to therapy every week. One of the best things I've ever done for myself. Go out and do what you like to do. Find others with the same hobbies. Yeah, that's something you could do too. I'll go, go to places where people are doing the hobbies that you like. You know, join some sort of fitness club. Rock climbing, martial arts, things like that. There are plenty, there are plenty of fellas. Rock climbing and, and grappling, you know. Do, do jujitsu. Me being awesome. Guys, I don't want to attach guys. I don't want fade. Me being awesome. Guys, I don't want attach. Because you have a fearful avoidance. That's why you don't want them. And guys... Guys, I don't want fade. Guys, I don't want attach. Guys, I don't want fade. Hmm? Guys, you do want fade. Okay. Guys, I do want fade. Thanks, girl. I was thinking the same. I go hiking all the time. So, Tiff, because you have a fearful of wearing attachment style, the guys the guys you want attach, the guys you don't want attach, you don't want them because they attach, because they're anxious and it scares you, and the guys you do want fade because they're avoidant, and the avoidance make you chase, and that's why you want them. That's why you need therapy. What's the conversation topic? Can someone type it? Right now, we're talking about just love and dating, dating apps. Avoid bars at all costs when it comes to to dating to settle down 100%. Facts. Zanny Boney, thanks for the donut. And never date anyone that works at a bar. Also facts. Nobody, no bartenders, no doctors, no lawyers, no pilots, no air, no um air nurses. <laughs> no nurses, no flight attendants. <laughs> Stay away from those people. No professional athletes. Nobody who goes on tour for work. I matched with 10 tonight. Well, focus on one. You got 10 people. Focus on one. You don't need 20,000 people. A new matching game. Can I have one? You are a fearful avoidant, Tiff. Fearful avoidant. Not dismissive. Fearful. Fearful. It's different. A fearful avoidant is an anxious avoidant, Tiff. I'm not avoided and I volunteer in my free time. <laughs> I'll never meet someone. You're definitely a fearful avoidant. The submissive avoidant and fearful avoidants are different, yes. What if your girlfriend was in bed lying on a bunch of cilantro? What would you do? <sighs> if I came in my girlfriend lying on a bunch of cilantro, I would make her take a shower. <laughs> Like, I can't have cilantro ruining all the food. Cilantro is over overpowering. I can't have it. Hello, April.
Zanny Bonet. I remember. I appreciate you for being here. Caitlin, welcome. I throw in some tomatoes and onions and get some get some chips. So Zanny, we are talking about dating apps right now. And cilantro. And how cilantro is gross. <laughs> Pico de Gallo. Marker Chick High. But yeah, if you're looking for some long terms, definitely don't go to bars. Don't go to clubs. If I date around, should I talk to a couple people or only one? You could talk to you could talk to a couple people, feel them out. Like maybe three three max, Liz. Like talk to three people max until one of them takes you out. But don't be setting up three dates. I don't need you going on date with dates with guy number one, two, and three, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know, you can flirt with three out three of them, see which one you're feeling, and the one you're feeling most, set up a date with him, see where it goes. And kind of focus on him, focus on the guy who's stepping up and putting in an effort, and then go from there. If he goes, you you got two guys to fall back on. Let's see if I can got any jokes tonight. But I don't feel like it's a good move to have a guy for a date Monday, a guy for a Tuesday, a guy for Friday. Because that's that's like preparing for Monday and Tuesday to fail, you know? With this job come between us. Hello, Madison. Bell's high. Hello, Eliza. What to do if a guy is unsure about a relationship? Find somebody who's sure about you, Grace. That's what you do. You move on while he figures out what he wants in life. But don't be waiting for him, Grace. YOLO. You know, you only get one life, Grace. Can't be can't be waiting on people who are unsure about you. When you're sure about me, come back. In the meantime, I'm gonna look for somebody who's gonna be sure about me. Nothing is coming between us from being friends. Well, thanks, Madison. I really like your sweater. Mind if I ask, where's it from? This is from Amazon, and I like it too. It's really comfy. It's very lightweight and breathable. Like, you can wear this in the summertime. It's nice. It's on Amazon. And it's long. I'm a tall boy. I think the same people that make my um, my chunky knit hoodie make this. I really like it. A shirt for tall boys. Why does a guy act interested then lose feelings? Sometimes we're talking to people that we think we like and then we don't like them anymore, Grace. It happens. Sometimes we just change our mind. Or we get distracted by somebody else. That's it. I'm getting ducks and going to figure out your address and send one a week. You're going to send me a duck every week? AC was on earlier. Got, got the heater on now. <laughs> Can you tell my boyfriend to propose to me? <laughs> How long have you two been together, Obi? At least thanks for the likes. Four years? Obi, I will send your boyfriend my friend who does proposals. She does amazing she does amazing proposals. Like I don't like whatever guy ends up with her, good luck. I don't know how he's gonna outdo what she does for couples. <laughs> we live together. Yeah, it's time. It's time. It's time to be engaged. I agree. <laughs> my in-laws let me know that my spouse's grandma was in the hospital. I tried to reach out to him to let him know. I need her at. Um, I'll send. I'll send her your way. Or send you her way. I mean. I've been with what nonsense for six years, no proposal. I mean, marriage is scary these days. But if I'm with you for four years, six years, I think it's time. You know, I feel like I trust you enough at that point. 
if I'm still with you. If we're still going strong for six years, I think I trust you. <laughs> He's with his friends, our CTO, so I told him to tell him. Things got interesting when I talked to him. I told him I have six years max. How old are you two, Obi? Hello, Eddie. He's, I'm 28, he's 26. Okay, y'all are, y'all are young. User 44 in Dream Big, thanks for the follow. You're a cutie, well thank you, Eddie. How are you, Dream Big Love? I see, t <laughs> young, <laughs> yeah, y'all are babies. 28 years old, or that's just a baby. My CTO started saying how he, he missed when we broke up and things were real. Eliza, this this man ain't seen you in four months. If he missed you, he'd come home. <laughs> to lots of my grace. I'm about to interview guys. So what made you lose interest? <laughs> so I can figure this out. Aw. Noel's wife is actually coming to stay with me this month. I feel like when people lose interest, like if you're talking and things seem to be going well, because you should have a good feel on if, if things are going well. It's usually... Like if you if you feel like you have a deeper connection with somebody than you actually do, that's a, a sign of being histrionic. But if you're just like, oh, we talked about our favorite colors. Now all of a sudden he doesn't talk to me. What happened? Girl, get over it. You know, the fuck you mean? <laughs> you guys didn't talk about anything. It wasn't that deep. It's OK. It's OK that you haven't heard from him and all you ever talked about was your favorite color. That's life. But if you felt like things were going pretty well, like there was a connection and they kind of just started to fade away and then they disappeared, it's because somebody else came into the picture. So don't take it so personal. Don't take it so personal. And if it was just like, oh, we had some not so deep conversations and they just stopped talking to me. They just, they just weren't that interested. Or somebody else inter interested them more. There's no, there's no, the, the sandwich shop analogy, Ted. You got a sandwich shop. People come in, they look at your menu. Some people buy a sandwich, some people walk out. You don't chase the per person down the sidewalk yelling, why didn't you buy my sandwich? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Plenty of people are going to come in to your sandwich shop and love your sandwich, Tiff. You don't need to know. Why they disappeared, it doesn't matter. All that matters is you find the person who's not going to disappear. He's the one that matters. Those guys who disappeared, they don't fucking matter. Now his wife actually coming to stay with me this month. I laughed about it because we feel like we're married. He has introduced me as his wife. I mean, six years together in some states, you you are technically married. I don't I don't know what state y'all live in. Listen, I'm Cuban. I'm supposed to be married with kids at age twenty. Young but cute, I'm 37. I don't look like though. No, the friend said, oh, the friend said he missed. Wanting well, to have money because things were real then. Got you. Oh, not your spouse. Okay. I'm 35 and don't want to date anymore. It's exhausting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dang it. Other other women move, moving in sounds like. Yeah, it happens. Basically, the friend's wife is now coming to visit me in VA. And the friend was nice to me. You can have the best sandwich and someone won't like it. Exactly. Your sandwich isn't going to be for everybody. You can have the award-winning sandwich. And some person's going to be like, ugh, you forgot the pickles. You know, you're going to you're gonna have a, the bass. Whatever, what was his name? From Spongebob? <laughs> You're going to have that guy. You're going to have that guy that comes to the Krusty Krab and just wants to hate on it, you know? And you know you got the best you got the best patties under the sea. He's just going to come there and hide the pickles under his tongue. 
Like, it just doesn't matter. We're not all for everybody. Like, I've also said this before. There are people who are out of my league that like me. Shocker. And there are also people who I'm out of their league that don't like me. <laughs> you know, not everybody... We can't be attractive and desirable to everybody. Not everybody's going to like us. And it's okay. We can only we can only marry one person. Unless you're in a different religion or cult, whatever, where you can marry seven people. But you can't marry the whole world. You don't have to. Like it's, it's okay if you're not for everybody and they're not for you. Can we not call it my sandwich? <laughs> that sounds wrong. So that means my ex did say something to him about us. Saying the same thing. 30 from South Carolina. Well, hello. I need to see the common law marriage in Tennessee. Thanks for the heads up. You're welcome. I think Ohio common law is four years. I think. These same people were almost ignoring me when my ex was mad at me. You may be married and not know. No, why not? Bubble bass. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all get a, get a bunch of bubble basses in there. I'll never look at sandwiches the same. Does my neck hurt? No. Because <laughs> I'm leaning my whole body. That's so true. You're, you're out of my league. <laughs> but I get little brother vibes. Patties. One is enough being involved with multiple people sounds exhausting. I think there's a law in Texas where if you introduce somebody as your spouse, I think three times, they're legally married to you. Like something like that. Did I eat today? I <laughs> did eat today. 10 year anniversary on the 9th. Oh, well, happy anniversary. Sailor mom. I think. Like Texas, you introduce somebody as your spouse three times and you're married. I think those that's the those are the rules. That's the law. Are, pow are patties in and out? No. Crap your patties, Eliza. We're talking SpongeBob. I need to move to Texas. <laughs> I don't think you have to be a citizen of Texas. I think you just have to be in the state of Texas. So go on a trip to Texas and <laughs> be like Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, go to Texas and Beetlejuice your boyfriend. Husband, husband, husband. <laughs> I think that's how it is. I think that's how it is in Texas. And they have to, like, accept it. They can't, like... I think I think if they're like, no, I'm her boyfriend, then it doesn't count. Like, you have to get them. You have to trick them to not, <laughs> to not object. <laughs> Can you give me some advice? Yes. I actually need some travel recommendations. Almost unlimited budget. Well, damn, girl. Over here balling. Travel in the US. Tennessee doesn't recognize common law mar marriage. Looks like you gotta move. <laughs> Bond. Find a guy I like and plan a trip to Texas. Got you. Yes, that's what you have to do. <laughs> Even paid for a pre-honeymoon trip to, to Greece, but still nothing. Common law, I think, got this ban in South Carolina. Lee Faith Photography, hello. Has anyone here been to Key Largo? Is that one of the For Florida Keys? I've been to all the Florida Keys, I think. Because I drove there. You drive through Key Largo? Where's Key Largo? I lived in Key West. Which one's Key Largo? The ex told me she loves me after we linked over text, but not to my face. Should I be concerned? My ex told me she loves me after we linked. So y'all hooked up. And after the hookup, she texts you and she's like, I love you. But not to your face. I mean, just bring it up. Bring it up. Be like, so about that text. You love me? <laughs> just, be, just be playful about it. See where it goes. If y'all are thinking about getting back together. In Texas, I believe, if you see a girl in her... <laughs> you're married. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
It's after Miami and the Keys. Got you. Then yes, I've been there. North of the Keys. As long as you got a boat, go to Key West instead. <clears throat> Not hooking up, just date movies, food, and pool. Yeah, uh, Key West is definitely the best of the Keys for sure. Ken knows how to hog time. <laughs> and we're all the common law marriages are sus. I mean, you have to know where the common, common law marriages are. So you can get out of there after three years. You know, cut them loose. If you're not feeling it after three years, it's time to break up. Because I ain't trying to be married. <laughs> I'm trying to be married to you. My ex broke up with me because he is scared of commitment and past relationships. Looks looks like he needs some therapy, Lizzie. I've been to Key West with my friend before. Didn't go well. It was on some swingers weekend. Eliza, every day in Key West is swingers weekend. <laughs> Look, I never felt so young as I did going to Key West. Key West feels like retirement home island. <laughs> Like, everybody there is, like, 50 years old. Like, it was just a bunch of 50-year-olds and then me and my ex-girlfriend in Key West. Like, we were the only people in our 20s. Ken just knows his stuff. <laughs> Not sus. I didn't mean to go there then. AKA undergarments. Since any other word, <laughs> if you see a girl in their undergarments in Texas, you're married. Key Largo, you can still do the snorkeling and kayaking. Good food. I almost died in the ocean kayaking in the Keys because there's a place you can kayak, and um, they give you a map, and I read the map wrong. <laughs> so I was kayaking with my girlfriend at the time. And there was like a little path off to the side. And I thought going off to this path gives us a longer route. So we get more time kayaking. Let's go. We're going to go this way through this path. And I should have known this is the wrong path because there's branches we we're ducking under. <laughs> like we were, I'm like, why didn't they clean up these branches? If tourists, like you can just rent a kayak for 30 bucks and go, <laughs> go out here. And, uh, like, we're ducking under bushes and everything. And then all of a sudden, we're in the ocean. And a giant ship is coming right at us. And I had to... I had to call my girlfriend down. As this giant fucking... It wasn't a cruise ship. It was like a... It was like a... I guess... It wasn't a cruise ship. It was a pretty big boat. And I had to calm her down. She's having a panic attack. As this ship is coming at us. In the ocean. And I have, to calm, I have to calm her down, stop her panic attack, so that we don't die. And take us over to the side, so that we don't get hit by this boat. And then I was like, we're going to go back. We're going to go back the way we are, because I think we're lost. And then once we got back, I realized where we were, and everything was fine. But I, we almost died. Was she doing go during Fantasy Fest? What is Fantasy Fest? Why do you think of men saying women's body count matters? What's your opinion? So I used to be in the boat that it didn't matter. You know, I used to be in the boat of body count is don't ask, don't tell. I'm not going to ask you. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. I don't want to know what your body count is. If you want to ask me whatever, I'll tell you, but I will never ask you. I don't, I don't want to know. And then I dated my ex. Who... I'm like 99.999% sure has ASPD, antisocial personality disorder. And this is why high body count, this is why body count matters. Is because sociopaths are promiscuous. So a high body count is an indication of possible sociopathy. And that's why it matters. That's why it's a red flag. Now, I'm not saying everybody with a high body count is a sociopath. But it is a, a sign of possible sociopathy. They could be a sociopath. They're promiscuous. They have a high body count. So it's a red flag. Like, there's... 
there's also the whole thing about pair bonding like this and that. Like, I don't, I don't know which, which it is. Is the pair bonding effective because they have a bo high body count? Or do they have a high body count because they're already unable to pair bond because they lack vasopressin, which is, they have low levels of vasopressin, which is the cuddle hormone. It's the hormone that makes us able to pair bond. I don't know which came first, the chicken or the egg. Do they have a high body count because they have low vasopressin and can't pair bond anyway? Or is the vasopressin lowered the more people you sleep with? I don't know. I'm not a scientist. So it's a it's a red flag for sure. High body count is a red flag. And I just don't want to know. Don't tell me. <laughs> just don't tell me. I need to take the husband to the keys. Some birds uh, threw up their food on us when we went kayaking. Oh no. If I could go anywhere, where, where would it be? Ken Lewis and Clark in it. Yeah, I was Lewis and Clark in it as fuck. Because they give you like a, they give you a paper map. Because I'm not bringing my phone out. Like there was a couple who had their phones on the kayak and they dropped it in the water. <laughs> like you dumbasses. Like I don't risk that stuff. When, when I'm on a roller coaster, if I'm, if I'm on anything that isn't as simple as I drop my phone, let me bend over and grab it. My phone's not coming out. My phone is staying strapped. I'm not having my phone out in a boat. I'm not having it out on a roller coaster, on a ride, none of that shit. Mm -mm. I'm not risking it. <laughs> the ex, the ex turned you. Yeah, she turned me. All these fancy terms. Vasopressin. Vasopressin is is the hormone. It's the cuddle hormone. So is it okay to for men to have a high body count? No. I don't think it matters if it's a man or a woman. Either way, it's a red flag. Like, again, it's not a 100% that they are a sociopath. But I'm not taking those odds, you know? I ain't risking it. That's not but you also have BPD. Um, borderline people can also be promiscuous. Not all of them. Again, everything's on a spectrum. Not every not everybody with BPD is the same. Not everybody with narcissism is the same. It's a spectrum. You know, there's combinations. But people with BPD, like, I feel like um, histrionic is just a different form of BPD. And so do a bunch of psychologists and therapists. You know, it's, it's all ther therapy. And the next... DSM, they're thinking of scrapping it completely. What's considered a high body count? I would be concerned with anything over like 40 plus. 40 plus, I'm like, mm. it's, you know, like you slept with 40 people, you didn't like any of them. Because that's another thing is like, if, you're, if your body count is getting up to like 40 plus, you have commitment issues. You know, like writing's on the wall. You can't commit. You're not either you have commitment issues or you have you have some sort of issues where you're picking all these awful people that you can't commit to. And you're lily padding. To just you're just you're just going through them. Like what's going on here? So like something's up. <laughs> and that's just not something I want to deal with. Like, it's your life. Do whatever you want. Sleep with as many people as you want to. But if you're like a 40 plus, just stay away from me. <laughs> just stay away from me. And I used to not think that way. I used to just not care. If it was a thousand people, 100 people, whatever. Just don't tell me. But my ex, dating a sociopath has completely fl flipped my opinion on it. I still don't want to know. <laughs> I still don't want to know the number. But if I find out, <laughs> but if I find out... <laughs> I'm going to have my eye on you is all. I'm really glad I just bought life insurance because when I saw you, my heart stopped. Oh, well, thank you. Consider my ex slept with at least 10 people since December. I'd say you're very right. Well, it's it's science. Like, what I'm saying is science. It's not... It doesn't come from me. I'm not just talking out my ass like these fucking Andrew Tate types, you know? 
that you just scroll on TikTok and it's just these bald headed dudes being like men this, women that, you know. Like I actually look in this in this stuff. And how I learn about vasopressin and high body count and whatever is just learn trying to understand why do we cheat? Why do people cheat? You know? Like I wanted to understand the psychology of why people cheat. And instead of the psychology, I found the science of why people cheat. And it might actually be in our DNA. You know, like people with these the long allele variant of um dopamine for dopamine receptors, they also tend to have low levels of vasopressin. And they're more um polyamorous versus monogamous. So if you're if you have high levels or normal levels of vasopressin, you're more monogamous. And if you have low levels, you're you're more polyamorous. And you also tend to have antisocial behavior, aka sociopathy, signs of being a sociopath. Forty plus forty plus too much. <laughs> do you edge to enhance performance? I don't. I do not. Once you get into the hundreds, you really stop counting early on. Oh god. Yeah, histrionic is like petulant BPD subtype. There are four types. I'm back. Hello, port 7771. I got a hen's dozen. After a while, you just feel accomplished and want to be single. How strong is their, how strong is their friendship so strong? I will say that there are some exceptions. I lost it in a way I wouldn't have preferred. And after... Does age of when you lose your V-card matter? No, I don't think that matters. But I sleep with a bunch of people because I don't... I didn't want to feel like losing it was a big deal. Good night, guys. Obi, thanks for being here. I'm also going to bed in five minutes. Definitely not healthy. Healthy therapy has definitely helped. That's awesome. I also did almost nine years with one guy. How strong is our friendship? So strong. Which thanks for the fall. I met someone who said they were over 400. <laughs> who are they, Goku? And I didn't know to take them seriously or not. Go to Key Largo, stop by. I mean, like, that's... I believe it. it is, like wiring in the brain or it has it has to be some sort of dna thing because the opportunity is there for me you know my dms were full when i hit 500 followers when i hit 500 followers there are plenty of women throwing themselves at me i have 60,000 followers right now so just the scale of that but i don't have the urge like i don't have the urge to just sleep with a bunch of women like it's not it's not in me it's not in my wiring in my brain. It's not not in my DNA. So I do I do feel like being promiscuous or being um, polyamorous is does have to do, do with your psychology or your DNA. You know, I do think it, it's science and psychology. I don't think it's natural for men to just want to sleep with everybody same with women you know like i hear the arguments of men can have 365 children in a year and women can only have one you know i think it just has to come down to your dna and to childhood trauma that makes you more promiscuous i don't think it has anything to do with being a man or a woman but i'm just more of a monogamous person that's right when I was younger, but I wasn't even 20 and stupid. I know someone with over 1,000, but they're trying to do as many as possible. And, and they do parties. They, they're probably a sociopath. Like, that's that's like textbook so, sociopath. Partying, 1,000 body count. That's a sociopath as fuck. <laughs> Ken equals healthy green flag. Level 2 is big for me, same. But that's the thing. Like I have a very, I have a very high drive. You know, I have a, but 
it's been with few people. You know, like that's the thing is you can sleep with the same person a thousand times if you have a high drive. If it has to, if you're, if you've, if you've slept with one person 1,000 times versus 1,000 people one time, one of those people has some shit going on in their head, you know? Like, one of those people can't commit. One of those people can't bond. <laughs> if you have to go through 1,000 people versus one person 1,000 times or 1,000 people one time, you know, like, the drive has nothing to do with it. Because my drive is very high, you know? Well, like I like one one once a day at least, if not two three times. Sometimes two three times before it's even time to get out of bed. Like my drive is very high, but that doesn't mean I'm just gonna sleep with every woman who slides in my DMs because it's there. You know, my DMs are full full of women I could that I could have never imagined. You know. <laughs> But I just don't want to because that's not the kind of person I am. And it has it has nothing to do with your drive. I'm just more of a monogamous one one person kind of person. Some some people like variety. Yeah, and I think I think the wanting variety when it comes to people is you're just a polyamorous person. And I think one day we'll get to the point where poly polyamory isn't seen as a choice. But it's seen as something you are, such as somebody being uh, gay or straight. You're either polyamorous or you're monogamous. I think that's how we're going to start seeing people in the future. But I'm going to go to bed. I love and appreciate you all so much. Ken doesn't respond to his DMs. Facts, I don't. I love you all so much. Thanks for being here. Click the follow button if you're new. Follow me on Instagram at SuperKenGaming. Good night, everybody. I love you all so much.